Hello friends, today I am going to explain how to analyze the truss problem in ANSYS mechanical APDF software. In this given figure, we have to find out nodal displacement, support reactions and element stresses for the aluminum truss problem. Things modulus value and Poisson ratio is given as well as area is given. Node number 1, node number 2 and node number 3. And there are two elements, three nodes constrained at node number 1 and node number 3 and apply a load of 12 kN. Let us solve the problem by ANSYS. First we will go for preferences, then click on structural, click OK, then preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, then click on add element, link, select 188 link element, click OK, then close. Next we will go for material properties, material models, structural, linear, Elastic isotope here you have to enter things modulus value for the aluminium it is a 70 E3 and poison ratio 0.3 then close ok close now go for sections link add click on link id 1 click ok then area area value is given 200 area is 200 then click ok only in area then close then go for modeling create nodes in active cs see there are three nodes node number one is 00, zero. node number two is 500 and node number three is 900 minus 300 in active cs Node number 1, click apply. Node number 2, 500 in x direction. Click apply. For the node number 3, 500 plus 400. And the y direction, it is minus, minus 300 for the downwards. minus 300 then click ok there are three nodes created and go for elements auto number through nodes connect one to two apply then two to three ok now go for loads loads define loads apply structural displacement on nodes click on node number one and node number three it is fixed click ok or degrees of freedom and click zero okay. minimize displacement go for force movement on nodes select node number two click ok choose vertical direction onwards and apply a load of 12 kilo newton in the downward direction 12 kilo newtons minus 12,000 then click ok for the downwards now go for solve solution solve current load set click ok solution is done for the output results, go for general post processor, plot results, contour plot, nodal solutions, DOF solutions, click on displacement vector sum, click OK. This is the maximum displacement for the deform shape, go for deform plus and deform. See this is the actual one, this is the deform one. For list results, go for list results, nodal solutions, DOF solutions, component vector sum, then click OK. See these are all the values of displacement, change in length. Then go for reaction solutions, select all items, click OK. Is the reaction force applied on the 
nodes 1 and 3. Then for the stress, go for elemental table, define table, add, click on stress here. By sequence number, move cursor downwards by sequence number, click ls, type 1, apply, first try, by sequence number, this one, type 1, click OK, then close. Then go to list elemental table, select press, click OK. This is the stress values individually each element. And list elemental table, strike. This is the stress value and this is the strain value. This is the stress and this is the strain value. plot stress ok this is the stress results strain value click ok this is the strain result for animations go for animations deform shape deform plus and deform click ok See, this is the beam activate. Okay, thank you for watching my videos.